Okay, so I've established that this sling box is currently in setup mode. It was just erased. So let's go through the steps. Next. This is, the remote is too jumpy. Okay, so let's go to ethernet. Searching for internet access. No trickery. There's Slingbox 500 connected successfully. Hit next. Zip. Is zero six seven six. Hit OK. By the way, this is the worst remote ever. Okay, configuring component. I'm trying this scaler that I have. I don't know if it will work. Okay, so network error is fine. Okay, my device does not have a provider. Come on. Next. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna leave it. So it's still in setup mode. There is the HDMI 2 component, which I really don't know if it's gonna work. So let's go to the laptop. So as you see, I'm using the admin password, which is just admin, my unit ID, the IP of the unit on my LAN. So my video source number is going to be number one, just to try this. Let's change this to one. I'm trying this component thing because I don't have anything to remove the copy protection. So let's start the Sling server. Okay, so see it now it's using my Sling box. Let's open VLC. Let's see what happens. So open our stream. Nine. Sling box. Let's hit play. So now you see now it's gonna switch into Sling box in use. So let's see what happens when it times out. So now I have my stream and there you go. So now this is loading my home automation system, which I wish I could, hold on one second. So now I got my other remote so I could control this zone in my home automation system. So let's go to the room where this is. Technically it's my workbench. Select room. Okay, so now the room is loaded. So now I should be going to watch. Okay, so now I should be able to do, in the perfect world, pick one of these inputs and I should have live TV. Of course I picked the wrong input. So let's go to shield. So I picked the NVIDIA shield which should be showing the basketball game. And it dropped. So let's try this again. I don't know if that is just because of the Thing. So let's just try reopening it again. Connecting. It established the connection again. So now. I'm with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. All the information you need.
These guys know that they can call their shot on all the biggest stories in sports. Local insights on a national scale. What are you hearing and what does that mean for Kyrie Kuzer? Telling you all you so need to know to about all input, the teams so, should be, uh, so what's the latest there, Tom? Uh, the best analysis. You need that veteran guy. The best uh, will take a second to switch. I think the crashing of the video is just because of the copy protection and this device that I'm using. But let's hit play again. It should load it up normally. The connection was established. So, again, I don't know if the video issue is because of the this adapter I'm using, but let's go back to the other input. It probably will crash again. Free entry into our next Yeah, it might just be because of this adapter. So let's stop the stream again. Open Network Stream. Play. The present screen is loading. Screen, it worked as a team. Devin Booker, the three-time All-Star, playing both ends of the floor, getting help with the umbo and being able to make the steal so and then get it out in transition quickly. Shooting. They're ramping it up here in the critical fourth quarter as we see the umbo tracking down, coming off the bench with that block. You know, two key players off the Suns bench tonight: Dwayne Washington Jr. and Damian Lee, so both having their the best screen. games. Of the I have a Fire TV plugged into directly into the unit now. So let's try to change this input to HDMI, which is number two. So save the config. Let's hit play on VLC. So now we should see the HDMI port in the perfect world, of course. Okay, so I don't know if the Fire TV is loading. Again, this might be a copyright protection issue. Unfortunately, I got rid of all my copy protection equipment. It does seem to not play the Fire TV. I guess that's an HDD PC thing. So let's go back to component, which is number one. Save it. And again, I'm not changing anything on the password portion. Let's go to play, and we should be back at the basketball game. So again, I'm not BSing this, so if I unplug this, this feed should stop as it did. As it did. So if I plug this back in, this is going directly into the sling box. The feed should come back on. Basketball game. With the vision and then being able to convert okay, himself. So what a job this. by Bam. So 20 points right now to lead the heat. Power cable here. Unplug it. The game stopped. The stream should stop in a minute. So let's plug this back in. So this is going directly into the Fire TV. Okay, so see the stream finally stopped when this uh, realized it was off the internet. So let's go back to VLC. Let's plug this back in. Plugging it back in. Going to this sling box, which is going to this Sony TV, which is starting back up. So more proof that this is using this particular sling box is when it loads up. The password, the, the LAN IP is 
uh, 10, uh, 192, 168, 5, 111. So it's booting up. I think it's love as molasses. So I don't know if I should be able to just leave this on, but I'm just gonna close it real quick. I might also have latency with the additional traffic I'm putting on this VM. This VM is for my security cameras at home. So this should be almost done booting up. I don't know if we have to go through the steps every time on this. So, but if this works, now, this would be the first time I'm testing this. This would be live and huge. Because for those who don't have their admin passwords, and I bought this unit thinking I could get it registered on the 9th, and I was mistaken, as it did not come in time. So now my Slingbox is powered up. Let's grab the horrible Logitech remote. Hit next. Next, connect via Ethernet. So it's going to connect to Ethernet again. If you have to go through this steps each time, like if you lose power, I don't think this is a big deal. But as you see, the IP is 192.168.5.111. The same thing on this uh, Slinger config. So let's just hit next. And I'm just going to leave it at the location settings. So let's see. CMD IP con FFG. So that is the IP of the, the machine that is currently going to be running the Slinger. Let's start the Slingbox service. As you see, it's using the 192.168.5.111. So let's open VLC. So let's go to media, open network stream. It's going to be 192.168.9.8080. Hit play. Okay, so now you see the Slingbox is now saying Slingbox in use. Let's get a timeout in 15 seconds. And just maybe a superstitious boost for your team. The best for Support your neighborhood so and your team. So you don't even have to go through the setup completely. Order. This just works. And I think that's fucking awesome. So let's stop the stream, play. Get big savings store wide. Basketball game. Plus to make buying even easier, get 60 month interest free financing. You get it all. Great sale prices, extra Veterans Day sales savings, and... So I think this is pretty huge, well, in my opinion. Uh, this help, I hope this helps some people and uh, have a good night.